evening, everyone. Welcome to Nerd on the Podcast. The, uh, uh, Nerd on the Podcast. Nerd on Update, the weekly show where you uh, an- get questions and answers from us. We answer questions, and then you send mm-hmm. us questions, and then we mm-hmm. answer those questions with answers. And, uh, and mm-hmm. also, we send you the news uh, because questions we read the news, and then we talk about the news. On questions. So we were pretty much giving you the news uh, the that questions. we read. Uh, I feel like, honestly... I'll, I'll say this. I want it to be like the small tidbit thing. Mm-hmm. I don't want to get too long in it because I realize our audience don't really uh, mm. vibe because like, you know, it's a week. It's a weeknight. It's the opening of the week. If you want to mm. come home and uh, unwind, watch us hang out, you know, get mm-hmm. a little nerd on going on. Uh, but every once in a while, we do talk about some like serious stuff here and there. And yes. it's important to do that because it's important to just not like be... Uh, how do I say uh, tone deaf to it or uh, act like we're avoiding it? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And uh, one thing I want to kind of like just make sure that we mention is uh, pretty much the war. It's it's like full blown war uh, of Israel and Palestine, and it's not necessarily to make sides. And I think that's what a lot of people are doing. A lot of people want to jump to conclusion and be like i'm on this side i support this i stand with this and da 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 and this government that and the atrocities here and i think the tough thing is to 100 percent be stay woke don't sleep on this shit um the the war is constantly developing um mm-hmm. i have the privilege of working on a show that works about that talks about news uh so like it's definitely on the forefront of my mind at all times. Uh, I'm not saying it should be in front of yours for everyone listening and watching, but uh, it is important just to make sure that you're not letting mainstream social media and uh, very biased sources uh, steal the narrative of pretty much war is terrible no matter what. And war happens because of long, long, long histories of conflict and uh how do i say disputes uh typically always determined uh around extreme factions of of certain groups representing whole countries and it's not cool um but yeah i don't know if you want to weigh in a little bit in that same vein as steve's but it's it's been pretty crazy at least where i'm like where i I, where i sit now you you covered it pretty well this is this isn't something that you can weigh on the only on the initial actions that have just occurred. This is something that's been happening for over a century. Um, it's uh, it's stuff that's happened long ago that certain imperialistic powers put into motion, and now we're dealing with the effects from it on all types of sides. And in the middle, there's always the innocents that are suffering. So it's uh, it's a heavy subject. It's something that debate for decades and it's still here so all you can do is uh you know like you said war is horrible and the only ones that suffer are the innocent that are stuck in the middle yeah that, that's that's the the worst part about it. but anyways uh outside of that tonight we got uh, a show between the steves and i um you know first off i want to see how the chat's doing thank you how you doing everyone 51 jonathan big nate t dog 82 82 how you doing how's your weekend How's the week been for you uh, so far? You got anything excited going on? We're also mm. in the the month of October. All the spooky, <laughs> festive things going on uh, that we'll talk about today. Um, also, obviously, there's uh, some updates with the ongoing strike. If you aren't keep, keeping up with it, you know the WGA um, came into an agreement uh, that between the AMPTP, uh, and ah. they got more than what they wanted. Uh, but Bingo. then we're gonna follow up with more stuff. That other than that, though, we're we're just gonna chit chat because uh, Steve's, uh, so, you did you done me dirty again. Uh, you came down, <laughs> you came down, and yes. uh, you didn't hang out. Yeah. Uh, you know, tell me, tell me about how your week. Tell me, tell me what that was all about. Yes, yes. We uh, last Monday morning we surprised our boys with a trip to SoCal to take them to Universal Studios Hollywood for the very first time. Uh, they weren't aware into the morning of, because we kind of had to explain why we were driving for five hours. Um, so we went on down Monday night. We walked through City Walk at Universal. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, we spent all day at the theme park, uh, which included a early pass Wednesday morning to experience Super Nintendo World before the general public does, which 
is the only way to experience Super Nintendo World because when the general uh, attendance is in, it's insane inside Super Nintendo World. You wait times are, dear God, <laughs> are like uh, 150 minutes to get on Bowser's uh, Mario Kart challenge. Yeah. And with with the uh, with the Express with the early pass, we got in 20 minutes. So it, it's kind of like Disney has Star Wars, their Star Wars area that's always popping. That's Super Nintendo World for Universal. It is always insane. And it's like a sensory overload when you walk in there. Like, I, not enough to where I'd leave. I enjoyed everything, but everything is going off. Every single Nintendo song you've ever heard is happening and sound effect. And there's tur there are turtles and toads and everything going back and forth. And it's just like, I'm literally inside of Super Nintendo. This is not, they, they're not lying. They weren't faking it. Except there's no Link, yeah. no Star Fox, no... Uh, yeah, yeah, just, just Mario. Just Mario, it's, yeah. It's, it's Mario true. Land. They should call it Mario Land, even though they call it Super Nintendo World. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's Mario Land. Uh, the boys, they did the Bowser Challenge. They beat, they actually collected three keys nice. and <laughs> beat uh, Bowser Jr. Got a picture of them with Peach saying congratulations. They went, took them to Harry Potter Land, or uh, excuse me, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Uh, they got the shit scared out of them on uh, Jurassic World on the Jurassic. I World haven't ride. been on that ride uh, since I was a kid, and I really Ooh. like the end. The updated end is a lot cool. Is a lot cooler. The, I was like, okay, the, dude, the animatronics are amazing on that ride. The very end when you because you get a Dominus Rex yeah. going over and you, and then T Rex comes, comes out of nowhere, you. and it's like this is this is They're pretty. Close. They're pretty legit the way they have those things built, and we the boys they love the movies, but whoo, they were done midway through the ride when everything starts going wrong. We were, it was it was it was you know it was may, may have been a bad parenting or a learning experience. Who knows? One or the other. I do I do uh, enjoy that first was it the Mazasaurus with the water. Yes, I, you just yes. Started, I was like because yeah I was like oh that's cool and it's gonna crack the window and then I was like oh there's mm -hmm. water there's a whole lot water of water hits me yeah exactly <laughs> and Jackson hates the Dilophosaurus so when that boy popped up oh he was like nope nope <laughs> but otherwise great time they love butterbeer uh, they got wands they got to use the interactive wands that oh. do you know do spells in certain areas uh, Tommy loved the studio tour. The and Fast and Furious it, and, and King well, Kong? Like everything. He loved King Kong. He actually liked seeing the sets oh, and like seeing water. the cars from movies. Yeah. The little guy was asking me how movies were made. It brought a tear to my eye. How movies are made. And I'm like, my little, he's, he's me, my little movie nerd. He, he wants to know how movies are made. Look, that's my little guy. <laughs> so he was just asking me questions throughout the whole time. It was awesome. We even got to see some of the setup they were doing for the Halloween Horror Nights, which we did not get to experience because... If Jurassic World scared the shit out of them, there's no way they would survive that. But it looks amazing. Um, it, it, Disney is Disney. Disney's going to be amazing when you go there. But Universal hits me because it feels more of a movie, you know, a, a cinema nerd kingdom. Like, it's all the movies I grew up on. It's all the Spielberg films I grew up on. Everything's, like, a little, a little more grown up than Disney, and it's more movie-focused than Disney is at times and that's what i liked about universal the, be the best way i could always say it with like rivaling companies it's not like you know stupid like across the street gas stations or next door neighbors kind of shit but it's like mm -hmm. you guys are competitors universal studios and in, in, in disney disney land slash disney world you guys are competitors so the best thing you could do is do what the other person can't yep and what disney could really do is really hone in on their characters their mm -hmm. their worlds and then their ips where Universal really gets to be like, hey, we're a landmark in film history. Exactly. And we also could do, like, we don't have to abide by, like, this family heterochromia kind of thing. Um, mm -hmm. uh, a het a hetero society, what's it called? Anyways, but, like, have drinks and alcohol walking around. Like, you yep. feel like you're at an actual vacation resort where, like, Disneyland feels like you're on this, yeah. like, really, really polished guided tour. Exactly. So. You, you can you can experience the DreamWorks animation area. There's the Minions. There's Kung Fu Panda. But then you know you got Fast and the Furious over there. You got Transformers. You, you got, got Jurassic all the World. horror movies. You got all the horror creations right from Universal, which is a T-shirt I bought was a Frankenstein shirt, and she bought a Bride of Frankenstein shirt. So, no, it was a great experience. They loved it. Um, I, one of my, of course, that I'm wearing is a Welcome to Isla Nublar shirt, June 1993. I had to is it, come back. Isn't to it Isla Nublar? I, I, Ila, Ila Nublar, if you want to say it in Spanish, yes. Nublar? I was, saying, I, I was saying it the way the scientists on the island would say it. Did they really say it that way? 
<laughs> Isla Nubler. Isla Nublad, but yes. <laughs> uh, you no, did have a day. Two days, two days? So we arrived Monday afternoon, left Thursday morning. So two full days at the park, and then Monday and Thursday were our travel days. You guys walk around City Walk a little bit? We did. We did. Uh, Monday night, Jackson showed that he enjoyed dancing because he was dancing the whole the entire time. Mega screen. Had to make a reel to it. Um, and Thursday, uh, we actually stayed at a very nice Holiday Inn Express in North Hollywood. And so we were five minutes away from Universal, five minute drive, and but a really nice place. I got, I got, I got ethnically stereotyped uh, because the so the service people at the hotel, of course, were of Hispanic descent and they didn't speak English. And when I asked a question to one, they said they didn't speak English or Spanish. So I asked in Spanish if the pancake mix was the way to refill it, and they said yes, of course. The rest of my time there. They never spoke to me in English or even attempted. It was always full-blown Spanish coming right at me. And, of course, I can understand it, so I can speak it back to them. So the whole time, I was I was profiled as a, as, as being Hispanic, which I'm okay with. You speak it just Spanish? Funny. I can understand it, and I, I, I have enough to survive with them. If I start talking for too long, I go right into Portuguese. But I understand Spanish, and I can say if I'm focusing, I can stay in Spanish. But if I keep going, it's going to blend the Portuguese. It was enough for them to think that I was Hispanic. So I'm having a real <laughs> was... Tom talk tie moment. And I was like, does Steve talk Spanish? Yeah. Yeah. I got, I, I think Steve talks Spanish. <laughs> Steve, Steve yeah. Talks I, Spanish? I understand it. I know it. And I have enough to where I can pull it off. All right. So All I right. could be typecasted just like uh, Joaquin de Almeida, who was in <laughs> Desperado as the bad guy. He's Portuguese, but he's made a career off being non Portuguese. Hey, man, guy. you do whatever you can to get in. <laughs> right? Dominic Toretto, my... man. Hey. There it is. Have you ever seen multifacial? Some... No. It's a uh, 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 Vin Diesel's first uh, film. Okay. Uh, he he I wrote, directed, and produced it, and starred in it. Oh. And it's about okay. an actor who like can never find like a ro- who never got a role. So it's cool because the movie it's a short film. It's like twenty minutes. Mm-hmm. It, it's bookended by monologues, and the monologue first monologue is like him being this homophobic Guido kind of guy. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's like really aggressive, and then they're like, "Oh, could you do Italian?" He's like, uh, "Of course, uh, Mauro." Da, da, da. He's just going all the crazy stuff, and then like, uh, he next thing he's like on a phone call, he's like, "Hey man, I got I use your your monologue. It's kind of like racist though. It's a little over the top." And then like he goes to like audition after audition after audition, and he's like, "This is like young Vin Diesel, so he's like tan." Mm-hmm. And everyone's like, yeah. "He goes to one, he's like, oh, sorry man, you're just not black enough.'" And then he's like, "Oh, I appreciate it, man. No, I like you're not wasting my time." And he walks out, and the other one's like, "Oh, you're a little too dark." And then get it, and then he's like, "All right, I get it." And it's like this cool, like it's to me, I think it's super like an actor's short film, um, mm-hmm. to just be like, you're trying to fit into all these like cookie molds, and then you never do, and then you appreciate yeah, yeah. people being upfront with you to not waste your time, but also you feel the res- like the resentment of like not like not me- meeting that not expectation be, not being enough of this to be this role yeah. and in the end he finally does a, di- a monologue that he made up and then like it just ends and you're like i hope you got the fucking part but yeah. you know that like in yeah. this industry he might have not but then now we know like vin diesel's vin diesel yeah so of course like, that's i was like that was it's, it's a really cool and when you see that and like to me i think about that movie a lot of like because he also like i think he shot for like five days and like he cooked all the food and catered and all that shit and he had to he had to, he had to do such a heavy lift for that thing obviously it's for him he's like the star yeah. it's mainly about the passion him. project yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. but anyways um uh well, how, what you have you know, been doing Tom, as like? i was oh good good i mean uh we got back uh we went to the <laughs> portuguese festival that my grandfather started uh 50 three years ago now it's been a while since i've been there since the uh, pandemic so it was nice to actually go back and be there for a little of it then took the boys to the cool patch pumpkins over in dixon california with the world's largest corn maze okay got lost in that for a while i got some books uh book books not comics like right now for the spooky season i am reading stephen king's mr mercedes oh. right there which is a tv series now on hulu I think it's two or three seasons. All right. Uh, and then I picked up some books after my first time over at a seat at the table bookstore in Elk Grove. Uh, they are a very inclusive, very diverse uh, bookstore. So I bought uh, James Baldwin's The F- uh, The Fire Next Time. I got In Defense of Witches, The Legacy of Witch Hunts and Why Women Are Still on Trial. And 
I got Mr. George Takei's They Called Us Enemy, his uh, graphic novel about his experience as a kid in the internment camps during World War II. So I picked up some books. Good good finds. Good finds. Yes, yes. I want to make a quick shout out to Bad Reprint for uh, rating us uh, after their stream. Hope your stream went well. You're playing some good games. Uh, My week. Tom, one day. One day, Tom, I will go to SoCal without any... You know, missions without any uh, other things planned and be with my nerd on family. I promise it will happen eventually when I don't have to take the kids yeah, to I'm a theme park buried. or a cousin's birthday. I'm just, and I'm only I'm just going to stroke out from all the stress. And, and, and I'm like, well, I guess to, I have to be here. Not limited to any hours that I have to leave. I, I will make it happen eventually. Sorry, Tom. When I die, everyone. That's what's going to happen when I fucking die at the age of 33. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's fucking so. Sp- over like <laughs> um what happened Sorry. with me how are you tom oh <laughs> uh, there's a lot you know i'm finishing my short film uh work is crazy work is so fucking crazy uh <laughs> i have to shoot something this weekend so i'm prepping for that and then there's a script i have that like someone's looking for Ooh. a producer and i'm like i don't know if i want to produce it but I'm also like, I don't even know if I'm going to go to it because I have a friend's wedding, uh, bachelor party in middle of November. And I have nice. to figure out fucking travel. Wait, where's the party at? It's in Tahoe or Reno. I don't fucking know, man. Oh, the, okay. The, the the Not quite Vegas, but like still Nevada. It's one of those scene. two. Nevada like, fun. Okay. Of course, it's fucking in, like right before things hey. It's like, I got to fucking fly. I'm like, hey, Tahoe, it'll be like you're in Smoking Aces. It'll be awesome. It'll be like I'm out 400 bucks. But in, but it'd be, it'd be like, hey, they filmed Smoking Aces here. I like the movie. Sorry. No, it's fine. I like it. But I'm just like, <laughs> fucking Christ. I have to pay people off for my fucking short film. And it's like, oh, oh fucking. Oh, yeah. My, I like, that. I, they better get married, like, fucking next month. Because I've never <laughs> been to, like, a bachelor party where it was, like, a full year before the wedding. Oh, is that really? Like, I think I got the engagement picture. Like, the, my homie, my one of my oldest friends of, I, I've ever known, like, since I was, like, maybe eight years old like sent me a picture of this ring and a finger and then a mcdonald's bag and i was like are you showing me the mcdonald's bag or the finger because i can't i don't know what which, is which one is this? this which one are we doing then he's like oh the the ring but happenstance we went to go get ice cream after and the ice cream machine was working i was like oh good for you congrats and that was like in august and i'm like <laughs> are you are you getting married soon like really fucking soon like jesus christ but uh you know congrats to him um this is a lot of travel a lot of travel a lot of money uh it's so. true and i i make money i just don't make it fast enough but i might have found yeah. a really funny loophole Ooh. to like make to to to, to get some stuff and i'll talk about it, talk about it after this um, okay. That All being right. said, uh, we got some news topics today. Uh, news, and uh, we're gonna extrapolate upon them. We got some questions, some good questions. That I'm glad that Steve's here for that. Um, Steve, do you want to go first, you or me, for questions? Also, first off, we gotta do a little clappy clap, 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 oh, clap, 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 clap it up. Ila Nublad. Uh, I'm getting more sick by the moment. Nice. Uh, no. No, it's not nice. <sighs> All right. Uh, so like, you're going first, or am I going first? I'll go first. I'll go first. I'll go first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, the man known as the Shape, uh, the Boogeyman, Michael Myers himself, now has a new home. Uh, the Michael Myers Cinematic Universe is now making its way over to Miramax. Miramax uh, was in a bidding war with A24 and Blumhouse over the rights to the Halloween franchise. Um, more importantly, mainly the film and TV uh, rights to the Halloween franchise and the Michael Myers character, uh, which, by the way, would have been something else if A24 got a hold of it. They were close. But uh, Miramax secured the rights. It's theirs. Miramax and Blumhouse have both produced uh, the Halloween movies in the past. They both worked together on the recent David Gordon Green trilogy and Miramax uh, through Dimension had produced five of the pre of the uh, previous uh, three of the previous uh, Halloween films. Season uh, of the Witch. Now, I don't think Season of the Witch. I think that was still Universal. It's probably the Rob Zombie <laughs> one. 
Probably, yes. Uh, and maybe H2O. I think H2O was also uh, Dimension. But now Miramax is the sole owner of the Halloween slash Michael Myers franchise. And many are wondering what's that and what that means for Michael, since we know there's going to be a gap because we saw him come to an end last year when Jamie Lee Curtis's Laurie Strode finally put Michael Myers to rest. Uh, many are wondering, do we continue with the Michael Myers story or are we doing the original idea that John Carpenter had after Halloween 2? Yes, after Halloween 2 back in 1981, John Carpenter was done with the Michael Myers story. He felt that was the end, and that's why he made Season of the Witch. He wanted to make an anthology series that all these stories based on the holiday of Halloween. Sadly, Season of the Witch did not do well because fans at that time wanted more Michael, mainly because... After that, because of Michael, you got Friday the 13th, and he had sequels. So it's like, let's give us some more Michael movies. And that's why you got Halloween 4 with Miss Danielle Harris in 1988. Uh, now, anthology series are a little more popular. You've got American Horror Story. You have Goosebumps. Trick or you have a lot of you have Trick or Treat. Those have become much more popular nowadays. So maybe a Halloween anthology series is what we're looking at with Miramax, with a Michael Myers story coming down the road uh as a michael myers fanatic but also a fan of the holiday Samhain, halloween itself i'm open to both sam uh, hain the... for the people who pronounce it isla new blair <laughs> exactly <laughs> who don't pronounce it the the celtic pronunciation the celtic um the celtic yes the boston ones uh, um so i'm open to it um i mean my first attempt ever at writing any sort of script was a pilot treatment for my idea my buddy and i had an idea for a halloween tv series which centered around michael so i won't lie when i saw that the franchise yeah, I remember that sale, yeah that's my first was my first thing and when i heard the rights were up for sale i was like oh you don't say uh now if they're going with anthology series that's fine i can put my michael story aside for a little bit but it, was, it made me very uh very excited to hear that we have a future for the Halloween franchise, whether it's movies, TV. And it's supposed to spawn both films and television. So Miramax now has creative control. They're going to decide what they want to do. But that is the news we know so far. The Halloween franchise and the Michael Myers character are now the property of Miramax. For now. For now. Yes, for now. Uh, also, I forgot. I got a Friday 13 tattoo. You might yes. recognize that homie. There he, there he is. Death Note. I made a Steve's. How, how, how far did you get? I hold on. It's been a while, but I think I got to like in the late twenties, early thirty episodes. Like episodes. So he's working with L. Uh huh. Yeah. In the police yes. spot. Yeah. Uh, L, they've communicated some uh, some ways. So detective, is he uh, is he like stationed at the police? Okay. Yes. Yeah. So it's like yeah. really. It's it's good because it's cat and mouse is shit, and you're just like, how the mm -hmm. fuck? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is he gonna get away with it? And he still gets away with it. Uh, is yep. the girl involved yet? Yes. Okay, so she's that I remember. That I remember she's thing. involved. There's yes. two Shinigamis. Uh, where's Dad at? Because mm. Dad went to that, hospital. That I don't remember. Okay. I don't remember. I'm with Dad. Okay. That I can't remember right now. It's been a it's been a bit, but I know I got that far. But Light's a really good character. I mean, like he's a well written yeah. character. Oh yeah. You don't side with him. Oh, but yeah. You're like, I no. Get it. Well written. I well written. Get it. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. All right, for me, for news, uh, strike updates. Uh, yes. So I mentioned at the top the WGA came to agreement, but let's talk about the SAG stuff so far. Uh, early last week, uh, there, there was uh, uh, the, the SAG you know, negotiation committee uh, went in for negotiations, and they had the same kind of telltale notifications at the end of every day of uh, SAG and MPTP met. Uh, they're going to continue conversations tomorrow, continue picketing schedules or don't continue picketing schedules. Uh, on Friday, there was not any picketing schedules, I think mainly because of the Friday 13th, but also just because by that point, uh, it had kind of leaked out to the, to the major public, uh, not by official statements that like, um, uh, that, uh, things did not go well. Uh, and then slowly by the end of the day on Friday, it was it was pretty much like announced that like uh, the meeting did not go well. A lot of people were saying like the offer that was made by MPTP was worse than the ones they had. I didn't go so far into it just because it's a union I'm not trying to get into, not like the WGA, but I am still 
uh, voicing uh, 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 support in that sense, I still go to some pickets. Um, that being said, uh, there is uh, talk that they might go back to the table, but just depends when, because I've said it this way, if it doesn't end by like end of August, October, then like there's no shows going on anymore. And all the non unscripted stuff can keep going. So like I, pr I how I saw it happening with IATSE a couple of years ago was like if they push it up until the winter, like the industry shuts down from like December to like and middle and end of January because everyone's mm -hmm. doing holidays and coming back from holidays anyways. So it's like I don't know how it's going to go. I see bad reprint in the chat uh, chiming in saying the SAG strike will end third week of November. Mark my words um that's when shows have their like their fall finale like like i remember abc and cbs had their fall finale and come back in january yeah but then also like you know all companies uh as steve's as you know we have experience with companies uh there's a lot of corporate spending that happens at the end of the year so like the better one you could spend your money but also to show your savings is like a big deal so mm -hmm. like i don't know where it all comes down to in the wash but Again, I'm not an exec, but I do have friends who are execs, not like decision making execs. So I'll ask when I get it and then hopefully share it in, in a very cool non NDA way. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll see um, where it all goes up. All I know is uh, my employment is still going on and I know for a fact we're going to come back next year. So there's that. Nice. Um, nice. Like Tom, I mean, I, I lately I'm the one who's also vying for, you know, WGA, but uh, I started, I mean, I did theater in high school and I did non-union work with uh, a film and TV series. So acting was first for me. So, yeah, this this does, this is something I, like you, want to be, a, you know, show support for. I'll tell you right now, the, uh, the Disney Plus TV shows that have been having the AI background uh, did not vie any more confidence nor support for AMPTP. Uh, mm -hmm. So... Uh, I really do hope that the cool thing is that there's been a lot of support on SAG to be like, don't rush a good, don't rush the deal, get a good yeah. deal. Yep. Um, don't feel like you have to fall in line just because the WGA and the DGA got what they wanted. Uh, get mm -hmm. what you deserve and what you yeah. want and which is fair. Um, that being said, um, yeah, well, it's an ongoing and developing story, obviously. Um, but with that, we can move on to some questions. I thought, Is it? I thought I'd keep a trend going here. Uh, I watched a show that is on Netflix. It is The Fall of the House of Usher. I watched it. Uh, more uh, trend with facts. Uh, this will be mm -hmm. the final collaboration between Mike Flanagan and Netflix. Uh, yes. It seems that they are ending their relationship after some yes. uh, potentially uh, not great creative experiences uh but we'll be moving forward with amazon studios afterwards mm -hmm. this uh, is true that being said there is a lot of anticipation uh towards this because uh some would say that mike flanagan's work uh, definitely um gave netflix the prestige that it lost when shows like house of mm -hmm. cards and mindhunter mm -hmm. did not get picked back up i am one of those people yeah so um <laughs> It is uh, interesting. I definitely uh, ran through the the filmography of Flanagan, and I will say uh, I think people will try to imitate, and some people will be like, I like a thing, and I'll mm -hmm. say it's not Mike Flanagan's work, and that's all I'll mm -hmm. say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I also like Kate Siegel and G Carla Gugino. Same. <laughs> Uh, Kate <laughs> Siegel is yes. the one actor that mm -hmm. I don't hate that she's in all of her husband's work. Correct. There are some people who are always uh, in their husband's work. Yes. And I'm like, if you can act, I wouldn't feel bad. But Got I feel it. like you yes. can't act, and it makes me but, mad. But but you would say Kate can act. She can act. She can she act can her act, yes. butt off. I think Dang right, she, she can. Yes, if she we agree. was cast as Batman, it could potentially be a good cast. 
I agree. She, I could see her doing. She's that. quite good. I was, I was, yes. cr- I was, I was, I was, I was quite surprised. I was like, yep. I was expecting she, Nepo, she and then I was like, you know what? I don't even get. No, a she shit. good. No, she good. Yeah. So. And, and also, Carla Gugino has been on my top five list for years now. You see, there's a lot of love towards her right now, and a lot of people are like, she's fantastic. I hope she gets the recognition she like finally deserves. That's what the people on the internet are saying right now. Ever since she was Michael J. Fox's girlfriend in the first season of Spin City, wow. I've been a fan of hers. That's how far back we go. We go. My like first, she knows me. My first Carla was Spy Kids, but the one that really turned uh-huh. it on for me. Yeah. Yeah. Was it? Is it? Is it? Is it the Zacky Snidey movie? Is it the Zacky Snidey? It's Sucker Punch. Oh, after. It was not Watchmen, okay. but it was okay. Sucker Punch. Okay. All right. uh, and then, like, seeing her in, later on in, like, not later on seeing her, but then, like, I saw her in Sin City, mm-hmm. and then I'm seeing yeah, her in Watchmen, but, like, in Sucker in Punch, Sin I was like, because she's, like, the the matron. She's, like, the mm-hmm. matriarch character, and you're like, she's just, she's great. She's trying to protect she's... everyone. You're like, oh, like, but, you know, she's, she's seen some shit. And so you're like, mm-hmm. fuck, these, all these, like, babelicious girls are, like, going to go through this shit, and she's trying to protect mm-hmm. them all, and she's teaching them the way to protect. I was like, that's cool. It's a really cool experience like thing and she, she can be just you you know if you wanted to be ultra feminine you know woman character that's like the wife she can do that if you wanted to be the badass who you don't do want to fight she can do that and she and like kate she is a phenomenal actress and she continues that in flanagan's work so and uh what and what really put me over the top of her was uh was uh gerald's game Yes, a Flanagan work. Which we were talking about, if she just be the delicate housewife. And I was like, absolutely. Mm-hmm. But then, like, and that's the one thing, like, that, you know, Locke, Martian, these are, like, mm-hmm. kind of one-man shows. And they're mm-hmm. not really interacting with a lot of other people. And you're like, nope. damn, this is... And they pull it off. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 act, acting. <laughs> I actually had an interesting conversation with the coworker because... Uh, I was talking about doing some dialogue scenes or blah, blah. And then he's like, oh, give him something to eat. Then I was like, why? He's like, it makes him more interesting. I was like, no, mm-hmm. I hate that shit. It's like, well, you're asking a lot from an actor. They're probably not that good. And so that's why Brad Pitt has to constantly eat because he's not Eating that everything. good. everything. And I was like, damn. He's like, it's true. He's not really interesting if he just does it. It's like, it's really hard to be interesting without doing anything. That's the only reason. Like, that's why, you know, Christian Bale See, I was really be in something. It's like, that's why Casey Affleck is really good because he doesn't need to mm-hmm. eat everything in every scene. I was like, mm-hmm. It's, I was like, you're doing so much like I punch this guy, I slap this guy, but I love this guy. I'm like, I don't know how you feel. It was, it was really funny. See, part of me was wondering if Brad was doing it just now because he's done it so many times before that now he just keeps doing it as a joke. I don't know. <laughs> I, I was wondering. But I was, I was thinking about that. I was like, yeah, I guess it is, you know, a lot to ask for an actor just to be like, quote unquote, like, I was like, you got to eat up that dialogue and you got to like, you know, mm-hmm. look at that person, you know, you're, the camera's like right next to your eye, you know, so it's yep. like. Those close zoom in, yeah. yeah no, it, uh, anyways, moving on to so, uh, questions from uh, the Discord, our patrons. If you would like to uh, be part of the show and send your questions, like these fine few uh, uh, f- uh, uh, fancy, uh, finessed mm. uh, f- uh, uh, fellow nerds. You can Flanagans. join. Uh, Sorry, join the Nerdon uh, <laughs> Nation at nerdon.tv slash Patreon. Uh, Patreon. If you would like to do uh, something that's not so cost saving your pocket, however, uh, you can just send que- uh, your questions over at nerdon.tv backslash questions. However, questions. if you do join the Nerdon Nations, it does uh, support the show, and it's only a dollar. It's only four quarters. Helps us out. And then you're going to be put on a Chiron. You're going to be joining our Discord, which is free as well. Uh, join the Nerdon community at nerdon.tv backslash Discord. It's not backslash. It's just like fucking five years old. Like, yeah, it's not backslash. Uh, that being said, hey, big name. Hey. Thank you for the sub for 17 months. Appreciate you. Uh, nice. Hope you could send a question in and we can get it into the show tonight. Uh, but the first question of the night is going to come from Bad uh, from Bad Reprint, aka Brad, uh, who Brad. rated us earlier tonight today. Uh, this question is, and it seems this is the question I really want you to answer. Okay. A twenty four, yes, is reportedly searching for action and big IP projects in an effort to expand into more commercial films. With that in mind, what is an underutilized IP that you would think 
that should get the A24 treatment. <laughs> Not something I've written, right? Uh, <laughs> or adapted. It's IP. It has to be IP. Um. <sighs> so publish your book, and then it becomes IP. Well, my, mine is an adaptation of something that exists already. You know my favorite comic at the moment, horror comic. You, you know her. You know who she is. Vash and Slash. Uh, <laughs> Close. <laughs> uh, Hack Slash. Um, I can, uh, yeah, it's it's my it's my baby when it comes to favorite Halloween horror related stories. Uh, to see Cassie Hack up on the screen finally instead of uh, just in the comics. To see a strong uh, heroine who instead of doing the usual final girl of just surviving actually going out and hunting slashers uh i think that's something that would do great in the uh the era we're in right now um it was a fantastic comic uh, i could see a24 having a field day with it whether they want to make it the dark comedy but also add in some dramatic tones with it uh I'm not speaking as someone who spent like last year writing an entire pilot but hey a24 <laughs> Uh, the, besides that, I would also love to see a production of Malar's Huck, the Huck comic series. Huck. Uh, it was just, it was a six six issue story. Basically, imagine if like Forrest Gump had Captain America's abilities, and he's just this, this local small town guy, simple guy, helps out the community and ends up in this um, you know story that involves the U.S. government and you know uh secret tests and everything and he has to you know fight back against them but it's just basically they have the huck character is forrest gump with captain america abilities it's a great story by mark millar all right okay underutilized ip <sighs> underutilized ip under utilized i P. I don't know how it looks in the camera. That one too. I think. I mean, we're in the video game world already. We are. And I think Nintendo two. is coming out, coming out hard. Yes. I think. What we ought to do. That's Mattel stepped into the game too. Mattel stepped into. Mattel so is in the game. Mm -hmm. We already got Last of Us. Mm -hmm. We got Uncharted, unfortunately. Sadly. Um, I think A24. Mm -hmm. Big action IP. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. I don't know why they can't just do. A Red Dead Redemption. Ooh, that'd be good. Um, because it's a Western, and A24 is breaking into TV shows. Um, how many times do you still see people post about how great Tombstone was or uh, uh, Eastwood's Unforgiven? Bring back the Western genre with that. Much Ooh. Taylor Sheridan's like, I don't need a writer's room to make to make Yellowstone. Yeah, yeah, okay, Taylor. Um, but uh, I, 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 I mean, for me, underutilized, I would say fucking Mega Man. Um, oh shit! I love Mega Man, uh, and nice. I didn't realize how much I like Mega Man. But like, big IP action project, it'd have to That'd be, be cool. It's hard, right? Because like, it's super expensive to make it and to do it right. Yeah. Um, but like, it's big and action IPs, and they're underutilized. Like, I think Mega Man's super underutilized. Um, Sonic Three is already in a thing. It's already being made. Uh, Mamba. I think that's Paramount. Yeah, it's a Paramount production. So uh, uh, that's not underutilized. It's it's actually quite big at this point. Um, Metal Gear. They've been they've been uh, threatening to make a Metal Gear Solid game for a long fucking time. Oh yeah. Uh, action game. Oh fucking. Oh, dude. Oh, perfect. A twenty four with AMC co collaboration. Grand Theft Auto. Oh yeah. As, as oh, a TV you, show, you got a series. You got a series right That's there. It's a series, and then each it's like it's like it'd be like True Detective. Every season is a new game. Yeah. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah. Oh yeah, that would work. Yeah, and uh, yeah, you could do that. Uh, other underutilized IP. Uh, what else is there? What else? There's a lot. There's a lot of good stuff. Um, 
I, I, I would want to see an A24 movie. Um, mm-hmm. I can imagine how it looks like. And it all be volume one is the first movie. But I really fell in love with uh, Tokyo Ghost, the book. Oh. Tokyo Ghost? Jesus. Question mark? Tokyo Ghost? Question mark? Yeah, yeah, Tokyo Ghost, uh, comic series by Rick Remender, drawn by Sean Murphy. Uh, Remender, so it's nice. futuristic cyberpunk uh, world where, like, you know, it's the seedy industrial is taking over. It's smoky everywhere. Uh, everyone's like logged in on their um, computers, and they like constantly have to be on drugs in order to keep attention. And it's pretty much like this like skinny little girl. Uh, And this, like, giant hulking dude on this motorcycle. And, like, they're on their last job. And, like, like he has to, like, shoot himself with adrenaline just to stay alive and all this shit. He's getting shot up and shit. And they finally finish the job. And then that's, like, the end of, like, maybe, like, seven, eight pages. And then they're, like, cool, we have enough money to leave. And so they get out of the town. And they go to, like, this, like, paradise, forbidden city japan inspired place where there is no technology and Mm -hmm. then the main guy has to like go cold turkey and then they discover like peace and tranquility outside of technology and shit like that and then they learn learn to live a life and then around two-thirds of the way out they are attacked by people with technology and all this shit and they start wreaking havoc and so he has to be like do i go back to you know being how i was and have to fight for this place that i've learned to love Every time I try to get out, they They pull me back in. They pull me back in. So that would be pretty cool, Tokyo Ghost. If you guys want to check it out, it's a, I think it's Image. Is it Image Comics? Sounds like an Image Comics. It's it's Image Comics. It's good. It's good. I was going to go for Image, you know what I mean? Like, try to make Barry Mm -hmm. proud. Um, Brad, great question. Great Uh, question. uh, Off ramp, uh, you mentioned Taylor Sheridan. I I liked his movies that he wrote, like Sicario. I liked uh, Wind River. I thought was fantastic. Uh, the high hell or high water, uh, with with uh, he, he, pen, he's uh, he's a pine. he does the westerns. I never got interested in Yellowstone. I like and everyone talked about it. Everyone, I never watched an episode of it, and the whole writers' room comment was yeah whatever. But yeah, I like his movie, his early movies. Those are good. <sighs> All right, moving on to the next question, Jose Cipher. Thank what you up, for Jose? Question. This question is <laughs> really simple, but we can extrapolate on it. Bone in or boneless wings. <laughs> the way you started boning what uh boning these chickens uh both hmm i don't mind either i i eat around the bone i can eat a chicken nugget whatever i say this if you gotta get me with the sauce with all the sauces and shit mm-hmm. boneless because mm-hmm. i'm just eating that i'm enjoying the sauces the, the yeah, chicken yeah, is a yeah. vehicle for the mango habanero and the fucking yeah. blah 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 but if you just give me like a nice regular lemon pepper or just a pepper mm-hmm. or just like a nice salted chicken wing mm-hmm. i i want to i want to do that bd wong i'm gonna crack that mm-hmm. thing suck it like a mm-hmm. popsicle uh it tastes so good you know what i mean and, and the bone gives a flavor yeah no i get that yeah absolutely that's how i am and and if i you know me if i, I like fried chicken it's gonna be bones in don't give me yeah. no, no fish, no 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 no, ch- no chicken fingies. <laughs> chicken fingers. Like I like chicken fingers, but man, nothing nothing beats like feeling like a caveman chicken. eating a eating meat off a bone. Ch- chicken nuggies. Chicken nuggies. I like chicken nuggies though. I do like them, yeah, but I prefer bones. Like I prefer bones. like I'd rather go to a Ralph's, aka Ray Rayleigh's, mm-hmm. and get a little fried chicken eight dollar thing over there i'm like give me give, mm-hmm. give me that give me that give me that eight piece i i i got socal family i know ralph's i had, I had family who worked at ralph's i had family who worked at ralph's you just, don't, you just don't see this socal uh yeah that's all <laughs> artesia uh, okay. well, doritos last of the pre uh existing questions from the from the discord for the neuronation. nation <laughs> t-dog 8282 oh t now this is interesting this is an interesting question mm. i don't know how you're gonna how you're gonna do this uh mm-hmm. If you, oh, T Dog asks, if you could be the best, which sport would you want to be the best at? Kickball, pickleball, frisbee golf, or spike ball? I don't know what spike ball is. Kickball. 
be the close to baseball. So kick, kickball. Yeah. Be the, I'd be the best kickball. I want like sponsored, sponsored, uh, post game interviews. Yeah. Kickball. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I saw it. I Googled spike ball and that's a no. Frisbee <laughs> golf is quite impressive. I've seen some people like fucking oh, yeah. chuck that oh, shit yeah. and it curves. It's like wanted. Oh, yeah. It's like ha- uh, Angelina mm-hmm. Jolie just shoots a bullet. Bend the bullet. Yep. Um, I would say pickleball because okay. pickleball is hot right now. Yeah, it is. And so I could probably make a lot of money off doing pickleball for like three years mm-hmm. and then like peace out and then just be like, all right, guys, check out my energy drink. Uh, <laughs> look, my podcast. Uh, reject mo- modernity. Uh, this is a traditional male. You have to eat oxtail <laughs> oh, blood. Oh, uh, Thomas Taint. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't uh. fucking understand is uh, how I can have an axe and kill someone, and then I am go to jail because uh, <laughs> I look like a fucking alien. Uh, anyways. So that's that's Andrew, uh, it's my Andrew Tate. <laughs> uh yeah i'm saying like like you go for the biggest one and then you become a guy and then you have a fucking podcast yeah. and then like yeah. you just hire hot girls around you to look cool and then you but but, look- but but then you tell other women that they should be married in, in the kitchen not like the hot girls you have around you because right, that's not hypocritical and then i buy all. pizzas yeah uh, <laughs> get, get taken down by a 19 year old or it could be what's that one guy McAfee, I could be like him, you know. Pat's fun. Cool, Pat cool, cool guy fun. who translates yeah. it to other things, and it's like, yeah, all right, I'm a pickleball guy. Let me be cool. Big wrestling nerd too. That Volleyball guy. guy afterwards. I don't can't, know. can't hate McAfee. You no, exactly. Like he was a football guy, right? Yeah, he, yeah. And he, then he, he also did like a little stint at the WWE for like two seconds, and he was a commentator on SmackDown. But he also like pandemic. saved a show, right? Because he had to like guess the like. There's oh, some... he he wrestled at Mania. He yeah. he had a wrestling match at WrestleMania. Oh, Snoop yeah. saved the thing. Yeah, and the year before, he actually had a moment in the ring with Stone Cold after he wrestled Austin Theory. Yeah, it was pretty see, cool. See, see. You know, I could do that. I could do that. You there know? you go. And I'm cool with kickball, that. kickball, there's not a lot of precedent around it. That's why I didn't pick I just want. I just want to do a post-game interview like Brendan Fraser and Bedazzled. You got to go out there, you know, 100%, and we did our <laughs> Wow. <laughs> just a water, just a water <laughs> spray. <on. laughs> I love that scene so much. All right, now we're going to go into some of the binned questions. Some of the questions Ooh. we've had from the chat from other days, other, other streams. Days. Other streams. Um, all right. Cross uh, streams. I oh. will. Ooh, I, I do want to mention Devil May Cry, Black Diablo Mamba mentioned as an underused IP for I, uh, A24. Do you know uh, Devil May Cry, STs? I know of it, yeah. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be good. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Oh, there's a question uh, that Mamba asked several weeks ago, and we still will have the same answer because we have not learned okay. anything and we're not smart. Black okay. Diablo Mamba asks, question, yes. is Steve's mm-hmm. and Tom? Yeah, hi. What do you like about Baldur's Gate 3? Oh, uh, I, I like that it is a, a three-word title. <laughs> Um, I enjoy the world of uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Um, I like seeing places like Waterdeep. Yes, yes, And, yes, um, yes. know about the Lothwin. And, yes, uh, yes, yes. people like, uh, the, 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 the campaign yes, of the yes, Dark yes. Man. Yes. The uh, the vampire yes. Strahd. Strahd. That sounds, that sounds uh, racist. Strahd is a evil, powerful campaign mm. in five yes. edition. Yes. Um, I also like <laughs> Dark Vision. He <laughs> paid Black Diablo Mama got mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, caps lock response. <laughs> um, I don't fucking know, man. I don't. I haven't I fucking played it. I still I got nothing. I have it I, on my computer, but I'm just like, bro. I got so much. I have so much shit. I got fucking sick. Like I had so much shit on my plate. Uh, Universal. That I just. I just. I just. I. I have zero bandwidth to fucking do anymore, <laughs> and it's not getting any easier. You know the one thing I fucking learned in these last year that I have turned thirty two. Life mm. only gets harder, and I'm like, you know what? Yeah. It never gets easier. You get stronger. Bingo. Forty one right here. Bingo. You don't look a Everything day creeps. over forty three. I appreciate that. 
<laughs> going for that Aragorn. Going for that Aragorn look. Uh, the only gaming happening in our house is my youngest on his Switch, and he just got Smash Brothers, Smash Bros. So he's oh, playing sure. that like crazy right now. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. I mean, I got I got what PS4 game, what games. What games he playing? Just Smash Him? Bros. And that's it. Smash Bros. is his newest game. He's played Ben 10. He's played uh, Mario Brothers. He's ask him who wins in a fight: Ben 10 or Green Lantern. Ooh, I'll ask him. They're big. Ben, my boys are big Ben 10 fans. I'm, I'm a big they, Ben 10 fan. And then let they, them let them they, know that Ben 10 is the voice of Spider Man currently on, on video games. Ooh, okay. They, they, they uh, Tommy has a Ben 10 jacket. Uh, they have Ben 10 figurines. They've rewatched the HBO Max series more than three times each. Tell them Humongosaur so, is really cool. Humongosaur. Yep. Humongosaur. Um, hey, Black uh, Diablo Mamba. Th- thank you. 37. I'll take it. Thank you. Uh, okay, I still land those mid thirties rolls. Accelerate's pretty cool. Yeah, they love accelerate. Accelerate's pretty cool. I mean, there's obviously fucking way big, but then there's also mm-hmm. Alien X. But anyways, anyways, mm-hmm. uh, right. next question. Uh, so the Baldur's of G- <laughs> the Dark Alliance between the Dark Elves and the Dual. Okay. Um, okay. Only, so- only Dark Alliance I know is the Undertaker in the late nineties when he had the Ministry of Darkness. That's all I got for you. Uh, I think we asked this question, but I don't know if you were on there. T-Dog82 asks, Reese's Cups or Reese's Pumpkins? Reese's. Just all of them. I, I, yeah, all the Reese's. I'm, I'm a peanut butter chocolate fan. I don't care if it's in pumpkin form, cup form. If they're smaller, I just buy more of them. That's all. Uh, the, the chocolate peanut butter combination will always be... A massive win for me and recess recess uh, during recess i would have them but reese's uh nails it yeah but cups pumpkin tree nuggets pieces all the reese's i'm i'm i i am a fanboy over for a very long time now okay kit kat being second okay uh <laughs> one last question for the night this is going to be from bad reprint in the chat uh, what's a time loop in media that you wouldn't mind being stuck in? Oh, I don't know. Give me, give me some examples, Brad. Time uh, loop in time, media. Oh fuck, time loop, time loop. Like Groundhog's Day, like Happy Death Day, like it's Groundhog Day. Uh, Palm Springs, Alan Wake, American Nightmare, anything like that. Okay, happy. Okay. Uh. Uh hmm. oh uh <laughs> no, that's a terrible is that a terrible one? <laughs> Butterfly effect? <laughs> uh Infinite Crisis. Because mm. Paradox, right? He was getting tra- transported to mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A, a world that always ends. Uh no, I wouldn't want that. Uh Fifty first dates. Oh, nice! Because nice. I could fall in love with the same woman every day. And send you in Hawaii too. And I could have spam and Reese's peanut, peanut butter cups for breakfast. Exactly, you could. And then also, at some point, R.I.P. Israel Kamawiwa will will sing. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We won't talk about Rob Schneider's bad Hawaiian performance. We don't want to talk about Rob Schneider's a lot of caricatures. <laughs> a lot of, yeah, a lot. Even present day. Um, good, good, good pick. It, good it, it kind I'm of up. breaks the question. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Groundhog Day. Okay. Just, be, just because. Yeah, I, you could do I, the I same could, thing. Yeah, same thing. And I try to have Bill Murray's humor about things. So, well, yeah, that could, that would, uh, I'd do that. I'd do Groundhog Day. I wonder. What does it, let me, let me look at time loops. Time loop. In final, would Final Destination be? Oh, Edge of Tomorrow. Oh yeah, duh. Uh, Doctor Strange. I'm not using that. Uh, uh, it's the ending of Doctor Strange. <laughs> it's the ending. That's all. <laughs> uh, deja vu. Oh, I forgot about deja vu. See you yesterday. Time loop. Final girls. Den- Denzel and the Jesus. Yeah. Oh, I never saw Final Girls. I wanted to see that. Oh, though. it's good. I liked it. Butterfly Effect is one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Terminator. Terminator's not. Well. No. I mean, no. It's not the whole movie. It's in the loop. Primer. You just go back and that's it. 
You remember Primer? That sounds familiar, but I can't remember it's what it is. Where a guy is. finds a little fucking machine, he goes inside of it, and it's like, it's a loop de loop. Oh. Um, how about Looper? Looper. Yeah, Looper is one. Yeah. Looper is one. All of them involve dying. A lot of them involve yeah. dying, and I don't like that. You, you die. Oh, Back to the Future? Yeah, but that's the whole movie. It's not, it's not like it. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, I mean, I guess the, I guess technically the best one is Groundhog Day. Because you don't have to die. You just yeah. go to bed. Yeah. Wake up, and it's the same day. Yeah. That's not bad. All right, cool. Harold That'll Ramis end. Is, that's two Harold Ramis movies we've mentioned. We have Bedazzled and Groundhog Day. You mentioned. Don't I don't did. take the don't give me the credit. You did. You did I, the grew, I grew up on Egon and Peter. I'm sorry. I it's good. It's good. Uh, we'll we'll end the show there. Thank you everyone for this Monday night's uh, participation of the Nerdon Update. If you enjoyed it, please check out our website nerdon.tv. Check out our YouTube. Give us a comment on all the good things. We always post these videos up on our YouTube uh, so that people can watch it afterwards. Um, if there's someone you guys want me to raid right now, let us know. Um, Steve, thank you for being such a great co-host, even though you come always 10 minutes late into the wrong channel. I know. Um, it's I all know. love. It's all love. Um, and I'm also just, you know. You know what? Hey, better to come late than come early. Hey, it's better to be like a good lover and let them come first. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Tom, that's why I let you come first, man. All the time. All right, what? we're going to go ahead and raid Alexa Be Awesome. <laughs> um, they are streaming some art. We're going to have a raid. Everyone, take care of yourselves. Stay hydrated. Stay safe this uh, spooky Halloween season. Uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of your loved ones. Watch some horror movies for me. I'll give you guys an Please update do. on the little horror movie thing we've got going on. But I got to go. I actually meet with those guys in the next bit. As Steve's, I'll text you that little industry thing that I'll tell you, text you, I'll tell you about after the uh, stream. Another Please time. Do. Take care. Y'all know what to do. As always, nerd on. Nerd on.